Welcome to lecture 3, in which we will use Plotly. While in the rest of the module we will be using D3.js, it might be a good idea to play around with Plotly.js as a charting tool. We can simply use the code from the previous module and replace the DF plot and then dot table with, for instance, dot line to create a line graph, or plot a box plot with the box method. Using Plotly, the result will look like this. You see that with minimal effort, we create a properly formatted chart with labels, a legend, coloring, and if you look closely, there are tools for zooming in and panning around the data. While this is very useful for data exploration, it might not be the best way to give insight the way you want it. If you play around with Plotly, you will soon find limitations in the way the data can be represented. Starting from the next video, we will start using D3.js.